In today's session, you will learn to create a RefWorks account and access it from on and off campus. You will learn to create, edit, and delete citations in RefWorks. You will also learn to organize your citations and share them with colleagues at VCU and beyond. We we'll use RefWorks to easily create and format bibliographies. For those of you who are not familiar with RefWorks, RefWorks is a web-based citation management and bibliography tool. It can help you to efficiently store, organize, and share citations and easily format them for papers and bibliographies. Why choose RefWorks as your citation manager? Well, first of all, RefWorks has a site license that allows all VCU faculty, staff, and students to create accounts at no cost. Accounts can be accessed from any computer that's connected to the internet, and there's no software to install. Uh, also, RefWorks has the ability to easily share citations with others, and so you can collaborate on your work, and you always have the latest version. So today we'll talk about creating a RefWorks account. To create an account, go to the VCU Libraries webpage um, and then go to the RefWorks webpage. And here is the address of the webpage. It's really just www.library.vcu.edu RefWorks. Once you're on the VCU Libraries RefWorks page, all you have to do is go to the link that says sign up for an individual account after signing up for your account then we'll go ahead and learn how to navigate refworks and also how to use it off campus and we will download the right hand side tool that you need in order to build your bibliographies and you can download the right hand side utility tool into your computer but just going to the tools menu and the drop down box and you get to the right hand side it's really easy to download make sure you download right hand side 3 and then we'll go to the link that says folders and this is where we'll learn to create our folders and view the folders as well as organize them so we know where we put which particular citations for which paper and also how to share those folders with friends that we might be collaborating with. We are also going to learn how to add references. So you go to the feature that says add new references and then you can add them um, manually that way which I don't really recommend doing because sometimes when you do that you might forget some tags that RefWorks actually needs to be able to work properly. But you can also import references and you can export references from other database managers like EndNote or Ref Manager. And you can, we're also going to learn how to back up our references and store them. When importing uh, citations from a database, once you, imp you import them from the database and then you take them to RefWorks, the most important thing to remember is that you specify the source of your references. So if you're importing your references from PubMed, for example, when you come to this page, you have to specify to RefWorks that your citations are coming from NLM PubMed. Now comes the fun part, that's creating the bibliography. So, I assume you have your MS Word document saved somewhere, and the right hand side too is actually on your desktop. So now all you have to do is go into your Word document, select the places where you want to insert your citations, and place your cursor there, and then click on the right hand side too, which will take you back to RefWorks and then you are going to need to log on again into RefWorks and then select the bibliography tab. 
Now you have your bibliography and you see that you can select any output style that's available in RefWorks. If you find that you're looking for an output style that's not available in RefWorks, just let us know. We'll contact RefWorks and we can get them to make that output style available for you. If you need more help, please register for our classes or you can consult the library staff and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you.